You know, more crime and chaos in Biden's America, a county in Minnesota has created what they call a cat team, carjacking auto theft cat team. You see, Minneapolis and the surrounding area have been besieged by dangerous carjackers and auto thieves with as many as 20 cars stolen a day. Minneapolis suffered more than 600 carjackings last year. Most of the thieves are young teens. One of those arrested was just 12 years old. It said they're acting out in real life the fantasy that they see on video games like Grand Theft Auto, doing it for the rush. There's a new documentary about the mayhem there, shot by a brave reporter, Liz Collin of Alpha News, who rode along with the CAT team and got some incredible video, and she joins us now. Liz, thank you for joining us. Let's set it up a little bit about what you did and what you did and why you did it, and then I want to show the audience some of the stuff you got. So go ahead, Liz. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me on, Eric. This is a crisis that we've, we've seen play out across the country. And I think the criticism has been, you know, where are the cops in this? Uh, so this is a really a proactive team put together a few months ago uh, that's trying to get a handle on this. More than 640 carjackings reported just in Minneapolis alone last year, more than 100 in St. Paul. You can see people are taking matters into their own hands. This is actually a lot of uh, ring doorbell camera provided to us just showing what's playing out on our streets and in people's driveways. This is a, some suburban video here. You can see that uh, they're doing this in broad daylight. These are brazen criminals um, who think they can get away with it. And in fact, uh, Ramsey County told me that they can pinpoint probably about just 20 kids responsible in their area alone. And they kids. think maybe 80 to 100 kids responsible um, across the Twin Cities. But there are no real juvenile facilities here to put these, these kids. So it's this revolving door that we're seeing play out again and again, and they are terrorizing uh, people. There's no other way uh, to put it. It's incredible. Kids, kids, and as you pointed out, that one was as young as 12. Uh, Control them. Do we have any video? Do we have a call for a video? Let's take a let's, let's take, take a peek at some of this. Here we go. You lose control. Okay. Okay. So, so Liz, you know, it strikes me uh, when I'm talking to you. Some of these kids, some of these kids, probably aren't even old enough to have a driver's license. Right? And they're driving around the streets. Yeah, there was actually a mom that spoke to us in in the story, Eric, that talked about her son started stealing cars when he was just 10 years old. Um, and she talked a lot about this video game aspect. But in fact, the, the sheriff said that this has become a game. They're actually assigning certain points uh, that, that you can, can get to compete against other people if you s steal a luxury car or a car uh, you know, worth a certain um, amount of money to, to them. It's a game, uh, and wow. they think that there are no no consequences. And it, it was really an eye opener for me to ride along uh, with these officers doing this courageous work because yeah. they also know that uh, chases are frowned upon these days. That's so right. They're basically you boxing know, these vehicles you, you, in. You're making a, um, you're, it, it. It's like a it, it's a perfect storm where these kids they know they're underage. They're going to get out. Uh, they, they're not allowed. Cops aren't allowed in many cases. Not allowed to chase. And then they're going to get back out anyway. It's it, it, it's it's crazy what's going on. Liz Collin, we want to say thank you very much. I want to bring you back and see some more of your video. Thank you. Thank you, Eric.